Hi, I'm Jake from Mall. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to replace your O2 sensor in your Neutronix and IDX identifier. First, always ensure your unit is powered down and unplugged from the power source. For Neutronix identifiers, you will need a flat head screwdrivers for the installation. For IDX, no tools are required. Okay, let's get started. First, we're going to look at the Neutronix identifier. You can tell it's Neutronix by the black cap located on the front face. Take your flat head screwdriver and pry the black cap until it's released. Then, take the power cables and take these out of the housing. Disconnect the cables as shown. Then, take your flat head screwdriver and twist the air sensor until released. Now it's time to install your new O2 sensor. First, install inside the housing and twist with your flathead screwdriver until snug. Once snug, it's time to reconnect the power connector adapter. Then, insert this inside the housing, as shown. Then, reconnect the black cap. Congratulations, you've successfully installed your new O2 sensor in your Neutronix identifier. If you have an IDX identifier where the sensor is located on the outside of the unit, first disconnect the cable, then twist the air sensor until completely out, like so. Now it's time to install the new O2 sensor. Screw into the port as shown. Once installed, reconnect the power cable. You've successfully installed your new O2 sensor in your IDX identifier.